Hey, how you doing? Trader Joe's. Uh, I ordered this maybe a month and a half ago from uh, AliExpress. And it costs around 60 bucks. And it was advertised on there as a, you know, just like a knife that looks very much like the uh, Benchmade 940 Osborne. Um, after the video, I'll put a picture of what, it, what they had in their advertisement. It looked like the knife without uh, an access lock opening. Uh, it's like a plain blade with no logos or anything on the blade at all. Um, in the feedback area for other people that had purchased the knife, there was a, uh, a, uh, a notice from the uh, the seller, which I'll I'll show you here. This came with this. Um, specifically, it says that it's. Remember, do not show your photo in feedback, right? Because uh, obviously they don't want people to know that they're selling a, a knockoff, you know. So the pictures that they show are of a um, an unbranded knife, you know. Like it looks very much like it. It's the same shape. Everything looks the same except that it doesn't have an access lock opening and there's no logo on the blade. So I thought, I was like, all right, you know, I, I kind of like the shape of the Osborne. And this was uh, 60 bucks, so I was like, mm, I'm hoping that it'll look, you know, and function, you know, even though it did not seem to have an access lock opening um, and there was no logo on it, I figured, you know, what, what would be the harm, you know? Um, but it says specifically, it says, do not show your photo in the feedback. AliExpress, uh, not allow, we show the lock. So we, sh we Photoshop the knife picture. Business is not easy. We will keep on innovation. In this price, it is very good knife. I hope you understand and respect our work. Achievement. If you want to know more, please add my shop to your favorites. Post my shop link on the forum to get a bigger discount. If you have a complaint, please do not open dispute. It will cause me bad influence. You can contact me first. Business is not easy. I need to feed my family. I hope you can understand. Do not malicious disputes. You know, this is a, like English, you know. Um, it says, Rem I recommend you Jufuel Halo V knife. Good for resell. Okay, good for resell. Please search Jufuel Halo V on AliExpress. And there's that thing, whatever that is. Um, so basically, he's saying here not to uh, show the picture of the knife. Because on AliExpress, when you make a purchase, they, they want you to show... Um, in the feedback, they want you to show a picture of the knife or, or, or whatever uh, uh, product you buy from them. I guess so that, you know, other buyers can see what, what you'd be getting, you know. But this guy does not want you to do that. Because, obviously, you know, then everyone would know that he's selling a knockoff. And you can see right here that the box itself says Benchmade on it. Um, now... I have no problem with the guy, you know, I, I don't know who he is. I mean, I looked at this already and it's beautiful and it's, you know, it's stunningly amazing how it looks. I think anybody who got this, if you, bur if you bought this on eBay and you did not know and you paid like over 200 bucks or something like that, I think you would think that you got a great deal, you know, especially since this is like a $240 knife or something like that, if you were to buy it from Benchmade. Uh, I'll even put a picture of what it's currently going for on um, eBay and, and um, uh, Amazon. You know, it's like 200 and something dollars, you know. Remember, I paid 60. Um, it says right over here, it says 940-1 Osborne. It says uh, CPM uh, S90V. And it'll open. It's got uh, Benchmade 940-1 Osborne. Blue class, which is American, is supposed to be American made. So this is something that um, really it's like a direct. Um, uh, I don't. Know, I wouldn't say it's a threat, but it's like something to um, counteract or whatever um, American made products, you know. And I mean, obviously, I bought it, so I I contributed to that, you know. I mean, I kind of knew that it was going to be something that looks like that, but I did not really know for sure that it would have this on it and I think when I, once I open this up and I show you this I think you would agree that this for all intents and purposes is 
an exact, exact copy of a uh, Benchmade 940 Osborne. Um, it comes with that the actual microfiber bag. There's the details of it. Uh, it's got like that barrel clip, uh, or barrel uh, closure, so it's microfiber. Um, in the box, there's the information packet. You know, it even has like the has the Benchmade logo on it. I mean, this looks like nice and glossy. This looks like legit. You know, you would never know. Um, it has everything basically you would expect with a real Benchmade. Um, it had this underneath the uh, clip there. Um, I don't know if it's actually backwards. I mean, actually, it's showing up in the video as forward, but uh, I don't know if it's supposed to look like this. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's the way it really looks. I don't know. You let me know. <coughs> Sorry. Here's the box. Foam in there. I don't know what the real box looks like, if it has that type of foam in the bottom of it, but it's uh, maybe this thick, the foam. The top of the box. And let's get to the uh, piece de resistance, the knife itself. This is the... Um, carbon fiber version of it. You can see it's, uh, it's carbon fiber. And blue standoffs. You have a 3D milling. Probably did with uh, CNC machines. The axis lock. The pocket clip. I don't know if that's, uh, if like the one that would come with this would be painted or if it's parkerized, I'm not sure. You know, obviously I've not carried this, so I don't know what will happen to this in time. I know if it was parkerized, it would take a long time to wear that in. So here's the centering, which is right on the money. I'm just showing you the details on it. If you have this knife, let me know, and then uh, let me know how this compares to it, especially this thing, this uh, part of the, the side of the pivot. So there's the, the swedge. Let's open up, take a look. So, Benchmade logo. Stone wash finish. Benchmade. Uh, I'm sorry, it says Osborne design. Stolen directly from Osborne. Um, US patent number on there. You can make a copy. Why would you put the patent number on it? Um, Edge, the bevel looks pretty even. Let's compare it to the other side. Looks about the same. You can see the uh, sharpening choil there. So it's nice and even. I mean, they did a beautiful job. Got to give them credit, you know? I mean, they uh, really can make a f something that's fake look really real, you know? I mean, it's nice and light. Feels nice and balanced. You know, it's right at the, uh, the pivot there, which is where I imagine the real one would be. Let's check it 
sharpness. I'm not sure I'm in the frame here. Where's, I'm trying to look at the, my phone for the side here. Very, very sharp. So it's a very, very nice quality. I don't know if that's actually S90V steel. Let's say S9DV right there. Hopefully this is in focus. So I'm not showing this so that I want anyone to go out and buy this. Um, I feel bad knowing that, you know, there's people that work in, um, uh, in this company, in the actual Benchmade company, you know, whose job it is to, man to make these things, you know, whether they're a guy that puts the scales on or puts the screws in or grinds the blade or, you know, etches the blade or puts the uh, thumb stud on or the screws or the pocket clip, whatever. You know, there's someone, an American person's job to make sure that this comes out top-notch quality, you know, for you know, what, what the customer would expect who's going to be paying over $240 or so for this actual knife, if it was a real knife. Um, I would feel bad if somebody bought this knife thinking that they were buying an actual Benchmade. Like if you bought this on, because it did say on this paper here, about knife good for resell. A whole bunch of exclamation points. So I got a feeling that the guy is thinking that people are going to be buying this and then selling it. So if I paid 60 bucks for this and let's say I let's say I doubled it and I put it for 120 bucks, right? Which is still half the price of what it would be on Amazon if it was 240, right? I'd make double my profit. I'd be able to buy another one or two, and then do it again, right? I don't know if that's what this guy's hope is, uh, who makes this, uh, but clearly, you know, if you have the manufacturing ability, the ability to make a copy of something so precise, you know, that this thing is rock solid, I mean, there's no play, I mean, you would not know anything is wrong with this, or there's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that it's, it's, rep it's pretending to be something that it's, not um you know somebody would buy this you know for 120 bucks or something like that thinking that they're getting the deal of a lifetime and they may very well be you know i mean for what it is you know these man these materials uh, carbon fiber is difficult material to work with because it, it has uh you know there's health issues involved with grinding it you know you got to wear resp respirators and things like that i don't know if the people in china that are doing that are wearing those respirators i don't know you know but i'm pretty sure that the people that are in benchmade are wearing those respirators when they're handling this, you know, and the uh, grinding these things down and stuff like that, you know, and cleaning the machines, whatever they're doing. Um, it's just the kind of thing that, you know, not that I'm knocking it, you know, I mean, I know that 240 bucks is, is a lot of money to spend, you know, I'm not saying that it's not. Um, uh, is it worth it? it? It is if it's keeping jobs here, you know, and it's keeping, hopefully, you know, you don't copy me and, and go out and buy this and, and, you know, hurt somebody who works in this company. You know, you don't want them to lose their job because of the market flooding with these things, you know. I mean, there's no tax on this. So, like, if you bought this in a store in America, you'd be paying the tax to the store. The store would be paying that tax to the state. That state would be paying that to the government, whatever it is. You know, and that pays for all the, pro, all the, the, the programs and stuff that we have that we use for our own people, you know. Um, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of uh, aspects to this that's, you know, concerning and, um, you know, worthy of, of discussion, you know. Um, I mean, that being said, I do love this knife, you know, the design of it. Um, I did at one point have an actual 940 Osborne with the aluminum scale, and I sold it 
and I regretted it ever since, and I always want another one, but every time I go to look, I see these, you know, the actual ones, even, even the ones with the aluminum scales, like they're just more than I'm willing to spend at this point, you know, um, but I feel bad that I did this, um, I wouldn't recommend you go and do it, even though I got a feeling if you did, um, you'd be happy with it, and I think that it would work fine for you. Um, I don't know if the steel is actually S9DV. You know, I guess I'd have to keep trying this and seeing how long it lasts before it needs to be resharpened or whatever, but I'm sure I could EDC this and there wouldn't be any problem. Uh, it may end up becoming a safe queen because I just, you know, but I, I would never sell this or give anybody the impression that this is a real bench-made product because that's wrong, in my opinion. And in, and in fact, you know? So that's all I really wanted to say about this, so. Even the bag, they went and they put the logo on it, you know, and it looks like they, they did a good job, you know. But if you have, if you have this, again, if you have the skills and you have the machinery uh, the, and the ability to put these things together with such tolerances that there's no sharp edges and, you know, things are nice and even and perfect, you know, why do you need to make a copy when you could easily make your own or make your own style of knife that's your own and then market that? Then you don't need to make these types of things where you're begging people not to show your product photo or, or to say that you have a start, you know, that you're trying to keep your family fed and stuff like that, you know? So. So, you know, they did a good job. They know how to sharpen something. All right. And I'll include some pictures of, of how this looked on um, AliExpress and then also the current price for this on Amazon. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope this uh, gave you some insight. Have a good day.